In this video, I will compare the AMD Ryzen 5 7520U and Intel Core i5-1335U, highlighting their differences, and then provide a conclusion to help you determine which one is the better choice. The Intel Core i5-1335U was released about 4 months after the Ryzen 7520U. The Ryzen has 4 performance cores and 8 performance threads, while the Intel processor utilizes a hybrid architecture. The Intel processor comprises 2 performance cores, 8 efficiency cores, 4 performance threads, and 8 efficiency threads. The performance cores of the Ryzen excel at managing raw, heavy tasks, showcasing its superiority in this aspect. Conversely, for handling background tasks, efficiency cores play a crucial role, making Intel more favorable in this scenario. With a higher base frequency than Ryzen, the Ryzen demonstrates a slight advantage under normal CPU loads. However, the Intel processor, boasting a greater boost frequency, outperforms the Ryzen under heavy CPU loads. In terms of cache size, Intel surpasses Ryzen, providing the CPU with rapid access to small amounts of data. This feature proves advantageous for gaming and scientific calculations. The Intel Core supports a larger memory size than Ryzen, implying that it can handle faster application loading and deliver enhanced performance in resource-intensive applications with its maximum memory capacity. While the Ryzen 7530U supports only LPDDR5, the Intel 1335U supports LPDDR, LPDDRX, DDR4, and DDR5. However, the frequency supported by LPDDR5 for Ryzen is slightly higher. Both processors support integrated graphics cards, but the Ryzen features high boost frequency graphics, which proves beneficial for graphics intensive tasks like gaming and graphic design. Neither of these processors supports ECC, rendering them less suitable for critical systems. However, ECC, or error correcting code, is typically unnecessary for normal personal computers as it is designed to detect and correct errors in data that may occur during the storage or transmission of information. Moreover, Intel supports PCI version 4, whereas the Ryzen 7530U supports PCI version 3. Additionally, the number of PCI lanes supported by Intel exceeds that of the Ryzen 7530U embracing a newer version and featuring more PCI lanes contributes to improved data transfer rates, increased bandwidth, and greater flexibility for connecting high-performance devices. The peak temperature supported by Intel is 100 degrees Celsius, whereas that of Ryzen is 95. This implies that Intel can withstand slightly higher temperatures and endure slightly higher temperatures under heavy loads. The TDP of this Intel is configurable, ranging between 12 to 15 watts, while that of Ryzen is 15 watts. Now, let's analyze benchmark comparisons. Geekbench V6 assesses the overall performance of a system, covering both CPU and GPU performance. Cinebench R23 evaluates the rendering performance of a computer's CPU. For both Cinebench R23 and Geekbench V6, considering both multi-core and single-core performance, this Intel core appears to outperform. Ultimately, the optimal method for selecting the most suitable processor for your needs is to carefully examine the